Hello everybody, it's Miss Crazy K. I'm going to teach you guys how to write equations for parallel and perpendicular lines. And I'm going to stick with slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b, where m is slope and b is the y intercept. We already know that. Um, anytime you're talking about parallel and perpendicular, right away you need to think slope. Parallel is pretty easy. Parallel lines have the same slope. So let's just say I have the equation y is equal to negative 5 over 8x plus 10, and I ask you to write an equation for a line parallel to that. The only thing that needs to be the same is this right here, that slope of negative 5 over 8. The intercept here doesn't matter. I don't know, minus 8, minus 80, minus 800, it doesn't matter. These two lines here will be parallel because their slopes are the same. Now we're going to talk perpendicular. Okay, perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. That's the old flip and switch. So if I have a slope of, um, I don't know, negative 6 over 7, the perpendicular slope is going to be, well, this dude is negative, so that means this one's going to be positive, and then you have to flip it. So it'll be 7 over 6. All right, this is when it gets a little tricky. Write the equation of a line that passes through this point and is parallel to y is equal to 1 half x minus 3. All right, well, the first thing we're going to do here is we are going to figure out our slope for our new equation. Because we're saying parallel, our slope is going to stay the same. So what you're going to do is you are going to write a new equation. y is equal to 1 over 2x. Now, what's important about this? Because it's telling us that this guy is passing through this particular point, our intercept our b is going to matter. Okay, so you're going to set it up like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the coordinate that they give you and you're going to plug those values in for x and y into that equation that you just made. So where I see y, I'm not going to put 3. Where I see x, I'm going to put negative 4. Then we're going to solve this equation. So we're left with 3 right here, 2 goes into negative 4, negative 2, plus b. Add 2, add 2, that cancels. b is equal to 5. We are not done. You are going to take that and you are going to plug it in to your equation for b. So what we have now for our equation is y is equal to 1 half x plus 5. There's your money. So you figure out your slope, you write a new equation, y is equal to whatever that slope is, x plus b, and then you take the coordinates they give you and you plug in those values for x and y into that equation. You solve for b and then you take that number and you write it in for b in your equation. Let's try another one. Write the equation of a line that passes through this point and is parallel to this. All right, we've got a little bit of an issue here. This line, or this equation, I should say, is not in slope-intercept form. That's all right. We're going to manipulate it and get it there. So essentially, in slope-intercept form, we're just solving for y. We want to get y by itself. To do that, I'm going to divide all of these by 2. That cancels out. We're left with y is equal to 2x minus 3. All right, now we're talking. Now we are in slope-intercept form. The next step that we're going to do is we are going to examine our slope. Because this says parallel, we know our slopes are going to stay the same. So my new equation is just going to be y is equal to, this is going to stay the same, 2x plus 
B. Remember, our intercept matters. No! Get... All right, I got interrupted for a second there, but we will move on. All right, so the B, the intercept is going to matter because it's going through this particular point. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to actually get rid of it. Ooh, look at that. There we go. I'm going to get rid of this because we don't need it anymore. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take this coordinate, we're going to plug in those values for x and y into our equation. So where I see y, I'm going to put 5. Where I see x, I'm going to put negative 2. And now we're going to solve for b. So we get 5 is equal to negative 4 plus b. Add 4 to both sides. Sorry, my 4s are ugly. And we get 9 is equal to b. We're not done. We're going to take that whoop, and put it right back into that equation that we created. So our answer here will be y is equal to negative 2x plus 9. And that's it. All right, let's try another one. Write the equation of the line that passes through this point and is perpendicular to this. All right. Perpendicular, so this is a little different. All right, the first thing you want to do with this is you want to examine slope. So right now, our slope is negative 2 over 3. Remember, perpendicular, that's the opposite reciprocal of the old flip and switch. This is negative, so our perpendicular slope is going to be positive, and then we have to flip it. So it's going to be 3 over 2. That's what we're going to use here. Okay, so our new equation that we're going to write is going to be y is equal to, we're going to take that perpendicular slope and put it in there, x plus b. Same thing we did before. Now we're going to take this point that they gave us. We're going to plug in those numbers for x and y. So where I see y, I put 1. Where I see x, I'm going to put 3 plus b. All right, here we're going to get 1 is equal to, I'm just going to say, okay, 9 over 2 plus b. Now, 9 over 2 is just 4.5. There's nothing wrong with that. Or we could have left it as a fraction, whatever. I know you guys are scared of fractions, so I went ahead and converted for you. You are welcome. Um, now, to finish this off, we subtract. 4.5 from both sides, that cancels, and we get b is equal to negative 3.5. So we're going to take that, and we're going to plug it back into that equation that we wrote, and our final answer is going to be y is equal to 3 over 2x. Now this is a negative, so I'm just going to leave it like this, minus 3.5. And that's our money. All right, let's do one more. Una más. Write the equation of a line that passes through negative 9, 2 and is perpendicular to y is equal to 3x minus 12. All right, perpendicular. We got to think slope. Our slope right now is 3, okay? This is the same thing as 3 over 1. Now remember, we are talking perpendicular here, so I need to do the old flip and switch, okay? This is positive, so our new slope is going to be negative, and then we have to flip it. So negative one-third is the slope that we want to use. I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm going to move on. Our next step is that we're going to write an equation. So we're going to, ooh, oh no, get out of here, baby. The smart word's going crazy on me. Now what we're going to do is write our equation. So y is equal to, we have to use our perpendicular slope, negative one-third x plus b. Now we are going to plug in these numbers for x and y. So where I see y, I'm going to put a 2. Where I see x, I'm going to put a negative 9. And now we're going to 
to solve for b and get that intercept. So now, this is when cross canceling is really cool. Uh, 3 goes into negative 9, negative 3 times. Good there. Negative 1 times a negative 3 is a positive 3 plus b. Now we're going to finish strong, subtract 3 from both sides, that goes away. B is equal to negative 1. We are almost done. We are going to take that information and we are going to plug it in for B into our equation. And what we get is Y is equal to negative 1 third X minus 1. So the main thing that you need to do here, figure out your slope, write a new equation, plug in your num ooh, numbers for x and y into your new equation, solve for b, and then write that number in the equation that you created. Remember, parallel lines, same slope, perpendicular lines have the opposite reciprocal slopes, and you will be just fine. Happy solving, everybody.